What's up guys, it's your boy Jordan, back with another e-commerce video. And in this video, I wanna tell you guys how to take your small little project or your small scale business and actually take it to the next level by properly automating and bringing in a team to manage certain elements of the business that you run. To me and to various of other people that I work with and know personally, this was an absolute game changer for their own personal development and for their business themselves. So if this is something that you've been interested in or something that you just want to learn a little bit more about, this is a video that you need to watch all the way through. If you like the value of my content, simply give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. We're growing really fast, guys. We just came past 4,000 members, which is awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. But as enough of that, let's get right into the video. So we're actually gonna go into my computer and we're gonna break down the exact roles that you should hire for, where you should look for these employees and the various things you need to know about managing them and staying on top of it all. But before I do that, I want to actually break down when I believe is the best time to hire employees and to me, the real benefits of doing this. So I know this from firsthand experience. When you're first starting out your business, it is so difficult to imagine anybody else handling the various tasks that you do each and every single day because you are extremely passionate about those things and you really just want to make it all work. And I completely understand because I've been there. Now, I know not everybody's like that, but I would like to say the majority of people are and the people who are like that are typically the ones who eventually end up seeing success within their business. But anyways, you need to understand the basic structure of a successful business so you can kind of shift and break out of that mindset and get a real understanding of what you need to do to take your stuff to the furthest level that it could possibly be at. So if you look at some of the top level CEOs and business people in this world, they're not in the trenches day to day running the little basic tasks that keep their business afloat they're overseeing the entire process and they're making the big plays and the decisions that get that business to move forward at an accelerated rate. They're not doing the day-to-day -day maintenance tasks to keep everything afloat. And I wanna say this, this is what you need to be focusing on if you ever wanna see extreme success in the long term. Though there is something that you really need to understand. When you're first starting your business, it's the complete opposite of what I just said. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, these people, when they first started their companies, and they still do this, but when they first started their companies, they were working tirelessly, day in and day out, on those little tasks to get the things up and running and get the systems in place that they needed to be able to take their business a little bit further. So for you in your Shopify business, in your Amazon business, whatever space you're in, when you are starting, you are gonna have to do everything. You're gonna have to do customer service, you're gonna have to find products, you're gonna have to test products, do the whole entire process because you need to understand completely how your machine is working and how your business actually operates on a day-to-day -day basis. If, if you don't do this, it's going to be literally impossible for you to ever train somebody else on how to do those things. And this is the point that I wanna make as to when is it the right time to actually hire people on your team. To me, the answer, it's not a set period of time. It's not 30 days after you start your business. I think the right time to hire people into your business to get things running smoothly is in this exact situation. When you have a system in place for the tasks that you do every single day and you cannot handle it each and every day on your own, then it is the time to actually reach out and outsource these specific tasks. Once we get into my computer, I'm gonna break down every task that I think you should go through and actually outsource, but I wanna say first and foremost an example that I can provide to you. So one of the first things that I think you should do is customer service, and this is really easy, and this is why you're gonna see people outsource customer service almost before everything else, because you work, you build your business, you get some customers coming in, that's all you, there's no VA helping you do that process. 
But once you start to get some results and you start to get a bunch of messages coming in each and every day, you don't want to be focused on doing that. You want to be focused on figuring out how you can actually propel your business even further. So those three to four hours a day you spend replying to customers can be spent on more important tasks. And that is what I want to outline in terms of when it is the right time. Because if you understand that you do this stuff up front, you handle it, you knock it out, you're going to know how to do it. And then you can train somebody to do it and it's completely hands off for you. So to answer the question, when do you do it? That's all I can say about that. And we're going to jump into the computer now and I'm going to share with you guys what I think you should outsource and where you can find people to outsource and the benefits of doing just this. See you there. So what are those crucial roles that you should look to outsource and fill in with employees to run your business smoothly and effectively? So we just broke down the benefits and when is the right time. So now I want to talk about this so you guys know. So look, I just covered this, but I'm going to write it down so you have it. Customer service is absolutely positively one of the first things you're going to want to fulfill because you as a business owner do not need to be focusing on handling this type of little task and keeping your customers happy is one of the most important things out there and that's not what I'm saying is that you should look on customer service like something that doesn't matter because it's actually one of the most important things but what I'm saying is that task isn't taking your business any further necessarily than where it is at the current point in time so when you're first getting started yes you're going to want to do customer service and you're going to want to learn the right things to say to customers treat them amazingly but once you learn those things to say and you can train somebody else to do that you can achieve that same exact effect just without you spending hours of your day handling this specific task so customer service first and foremost to make your life easier the next role that you want to fulfill is fulfillment so um, basically somebody to come in and go on Aliexpress each and every day and actually go through and order those specific products that are coming in on the individual day-to-day -day basis once again this is one of those things that when you're first starting you're gonna want to do it like you don't need to rush to outsource it but as you continue to scale and grow and you have more knowledge in your brain you need to start to value your time a little bit more highly because if you spend an additional hour a day doing this but you could have spent an hour a day launching another product then you could have missed out on six figures or whatever that product went to went on to sell so that's kind of the, the way that I look at it now I kind of value my time much much higher than I did last year so fulfillment is something that is incredibly easy to train as a matter of fact nowadays you don't even have to train it these people on uh, these sources that I'm going to talk about like they know how to fulfill orders with Dropify with Oberlo They understand Aliexpress. They understand Shopify like it's no longer completely brand new stuff so training people for fulfillment and customer service is almost like non-existent like you don't even really have to do it you got to teach them a couple things here and there maybe but the whole process most people pretty much have a full understanding of that so what are the next roles that i think are crucial to actually getting filled out so i'm going to separate these because i think those first two are like essential but these other ones are ways to completely kind of elevate yourself to the another level and really get like a hands-off type experience in your business and i don't say hands off in the fact that you don't work anymore but I mean you have a like I like to say like a fine-tuned machine like running 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 and your job is to oversee that machine and make sure the processes are going well day in and day out first thing is you want to get somebody to do your video ad creative we'll do that slash content so basically you want somebody there to knock out video ads for you on a day-to-day -day basis um, doesn't have to be daily but that's what we do and just this one takes a little bit of training you need to teach them the proper format of the videos you need to teach them uh, the way to do the captions but you could send them a link to my video if you want <laughs> But um, yeah, just do that and that will train them the whole process. And I think this is one of those things too, and I sound like a broken record, but I really wanna nail this point home. You need to learn how to do this really good first. And when you're an expert at it, training somebody else how to do it is, is incredibly easy because you just tell them step by step, hey, this is what you need to do. And this is gonna save you two hours plus a day. If you're good at editing, maybe not that much time, but after working with a lot of people one-on-one, -on -one, this is the time frame that I'm seeing for pumping video ads. And like I said, if you're valuing your time heavy, two hours 
that's pretty steep. So, so you, you, once you start to get some results in your business, you start doing a couple of five figure, six figure months, like get a guy on your team to start pumping this stuff out or a girl, you know, I'm not, I'm not discriminative. Um, another role that I think is crucial to actually get filled in to kind of keep things running smoothly is somebody to actually come through and do the product research. So, I'm just gonna say this one more time. And this is the last time I'm gonna say it, but I want you guys to take this and literally put it in your brain. For you to train somebody to do product research, you gotta have it mastered yourself, or at least have a system that you could give to them and tell them to follow. So once you have your system down pat, you can hire somebody for this. And this is gonna save you so much time. I think for me, this was a big game changer for me and my business because now I'm receiving about 10 to 20 products a week and I'm able to take those products and just test, 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 test. And I still do my own product research, of course, but for the most part, I'm just going off of the, the list that my team is actually sending out every single week. So I think product research is another thing that you can do. and. If you know you do this right, you can really kind of um, like maybe hire multiple people for multiple things. Now I don't I don't know if this is necessarily the best recommendation, but in the past I've had people who do product research, and I had people who do um, like the next thing that I'm going to say, which is product page creation, and they just kind of do both of those things just because they you know they're good at it. So that's what I kind of had them doing, but. Um, I don't necessarily know if that's what you should do, but that's what I did, and it just saved you some, saved me some money, and also made it easier because I didn't have to train two people. But um, the next thing is product page creation, and I kind of would put this in that that top three list up there, but I feel like it kind of fits down here because making a product page, if you know what you're doing, takes 20 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even even that. So you don't really like it doesn't hurt you too much to go through and do it but if you're testing multiple products a day and you have a system laid out then bringing somebody on the team to actually import those products would not be a bad idea and that's one of the cheaper things that you can actually outsource so that pretty much like breaks down what i think the main like roles that you would need to fulfill and i think if you're getting up a little bit higher to the next level the other things you could do is a ads manager so somebody to, you teach them your ads process, you teach them the key metrics, when to kill and stay on top of it. You can use software for this though. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. You can use RevealBot. But the thing is like a software isn't necessarily gonna have the same type of insight and like creative thought that somebody might have. So it's gonna see a specific number and cut it off. But if you have somebody on your team to say, oh, okay, Jordan, I'm looking at this stat and what do you think about it? And you can talk with them and that's real hands off because you don't have to touch your ads. But I actually have never got to the point in my business where I have somebody managing my ads yet. So eventually I'll, I think I'll get to that point, but I like running ads myself. That's what I enjoy doing. So at the moment I don't have that, but I know a lot of the big dogs in this space do have ads managers on their team. So it's something that I'm definitely looking at in the future. And that to me pretty much covers the majority of the roles. Um, there are a couple other ones that come to mind. Like you could get somebody to manage your finances, um, I guess financial manager. But th if you if you look at these top five, this is the main ones that I think you should seek to build in. Once you have these top five in place, running your business is actually a lot easier than it was prior to when you were getting started because now instead of you doing all this stuff every single day it's just you working an hour two hours a day making sure your vas are doing well and then maybe launching an ad campaign for a new product that you already have prepared and ready to go for you so this is not something you want to do right away but once you get the skill set once you get a system in place you'll be good to go so where do you actually find people to hire for your business so what has worked best for me is Upwork.com, and this website is absolutely amazing. You can see it's in my bookmarks bar right here. It's an awesome site, tons of workers on there. They work for great rates, and you can negotiate with them, and I've just made great friends and connections through there that I'm able to connect with and, and even work with nowadays, and I'm talking like people I've been working with from like three years back on little graphic design projects or on music projects or whatever it may be, so Upwork is awesome. And the last source that I have is onlinejobs.ph. So this is one that I've been exploring more recently. This is mainly for people who are living in the Philippines. So if you're looking for people over there to work for you, they typically will work for a cheaper rate. So if you're looking to save some money every single month on your expenses, 
this is a great way to do it and online jobs will give you the direct connection to those people so look guys that's pretty much everything you need to know about building a team for your business the key roles to fill where to hire from and how to hire those people so and just real quick since I said that how to hire those people you just post a job listing you say exactly what you need you hop on a call with them and then you train them in your system you could train them you could send them a video you could send them a step-by-step -step document that's what I like doing and then if they don't get it I, I hop on a video call with them and that's that so that wraps up everything and that should be all that you need to know about outsourcing and building your team for your business this will really allow you guys to take your businesses to the next level so keep grinding till you can get to this point when you're looking for employees to actually create a real business and not just a side hustle that you got going hope you guys got some value from this one if you did hit that like button down below i really appreciate all you who do that and also subscribe join the family all that type of stuff but anyways guys i will see you in the next video hope you guys like this one talk to you soon peace